a fairly quick video today just giving you some updates and information on a couple of uh, events I'll be uh, appearing at I've got a course and demos at Yandles at the end of this month and uh, also I'll be at Makers Central the following weekend but more about those at the end um, a lot of this video will be on a little um, cool shadow foam project I've been uh, been making uh, recently I joined their affiliate program they sent me this lovely welcome pack full of goodies I always like uh, little packs like this very nicely presented cutting kits mouse mats t-shirt hat and a sample of the new uh, shadow foam I I really like shadow foam it's a, a product that I have uh, no qualms about um, promoting because it's good it is really good you can see I use it in this uh, tool drawer underneath my um, lathe with all my chuck jaws still got some space in there I need to use and uh, it's also in my other toolbox and I've used it for a number of projects over the years it's just very good at keeping everything organized and I'm not very well organized so anything that helps is good but I uh, Recently, I did a little trade with a friend of mine. He uh, gave me this new prol case in exchange for me making him a case for his uh, CO2 gun, his CP2. Now, this used to have an air rifle in it, and these new prol cases are really good cases, but the foam in them is rubbish. It disintegrates and falls apart, and it also compresses too easily if you've got anything heavy in it so luckily shadow foam do these pre-cut replacement bits of foam for new prol cases along with quite a few other makes of tool case and things so what i'm going to do is pull out all the, the original foam from this you leave the eggshell foam in the lid but you replace the actual sections in the base and they, like i say they're pre-cut with little cutouts for the wheels because this is a wheeled case so you put that one in first and then there's another layer to go over the top which I would eventually glue into place once I've cut everything to the depth I want uh, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet I've got it in my mind that I'm going to um, cut it out for my lathe tools all my chisels so that when I go on demos I've got a sort of a portable um, tool rack in a way but I haven't quite decided yet so that's on hold I've also uh, I also ordered a sheet of their 50 millimeter foam. This is one of their standard sheets, uh, you know, thousand millimeters by 500 millimeter sheets. And uh, I made this carbon fiber box. It's a draw style box with magnetic catches, and it's made of laser cut ply covered in carbon. And uh, I originally had the idea to put my camera stuff in it um, and microphones and things but I'm now using it for this project to do for my friend. I start by cutting a block of foam out that fits inside the case and I'm just using a kitchen knife for this, a sharp knife. And as you can see that just slots in the drawer very nicely. So uh, once I'm happy with the fit of that, you want it snug because you don't want it falling out. And then it's a case of uh, showing you what we're going to put in it. This is a Victory CP2 pistol. This is my friend's uh, gun. It's a CO2 gun. Uh, lovely gun, great fun um, for plinking. Very, very accurate. Luckily, it all comes apart sort of sniper style uh, you know spy film style I guess and it forms a pistol and it converts from a pistol to a rifle but because it all comes apart it means you can fit it in quite a small case and uh, here's that block of foam you can see I've cut some slots for the handle bolts and here I'm just arranging the rifle parts I've got all the rifle parts including accessories and pellets and that's a spare longer barrel to convert it into a full length rifle or almost a full length rifle. Um, now these are cutting kits that you can get from Shadow Foam. You get the basic kit with the foam but this is the, the actual cutting kit as well which contains uh, 
cut proof gloves and uh, scalpels and glue and instructions and I'm starting by cutting the outline of the the pistol itself that's the biggest part everything else has got to fit around that and what I've done is just cut a little bit from each end of the pistol first just so that I can realign it easily once I've done that I then start cutting around the outline now these scalpels are very sharp I really should be wearing the uh, cut proof gloves but uh, I'm very used to uh, working with very sharp tools in my day job so uh, I feel fairly confident I'm not going to hurt myself and it's then a case of peeling back so you peel back the top layer and, uh, and you can then cut deeper and deeper and peel back according to how uh, deep the item is that you're putting in there wherever possible I'm using a square and a ruler for doing the cuts it just looks neater you get a much better uh, finish then but you need really sharp blades to get a good result you know, change the blade frequently as you do you know if it's a big project because uh, scalpels are razor sharp but they lose their edge very quickly uh, here we are, I'm just working now to get it a bit deeper. Peeling away. And uh, I did switch to uh, using some uh, fairly chunky tweezers for some parts of this. But as you can see, that slots in there very nicely now. And there it is, all cut out. That longer barrel is underneath, going diagonally across. So everything for this gun all fits in the one case. So you can put all the magazines, filter in there, CO2 capsules, the butt of the rifle, silencer, and even a pellet tin. So it all goes in there lovely. Hello folks, out in the garden. A uh, lovely spring day, although it is quite chilly. Um, we've even had snow showers this week. It's been really cold. Uh, but that's the uh, shadow foam project finished. Sort of a carbon fibre attache case that I made for a friend. Um, I lost the footage of actually building the case. I must have deleted it. But I cut out the, um, the basic structure um, with the laser. It's laser ply which I've then covered in carbon fibre all the parts I designed on my iPad and 3D printed them um, uh, there it is fully lined with shadow foam um, this is a CP2 CO2 pistol that converts to a rifle and it all goes in there beautifully really pleased with that lovely little um, gun actually very accurate and very cheap uh, I'm tempted to get one myself but uh, all lined with the red shadow foam as you can see and this new shadow foam uh, is really good it's a lot firmer and easier to use a lot more support vertically um, but really good really pleased with that James Bond would be pleased with that if Q presented him with it um, yeah really enjoyable project I love I love shadow foam all my tool drawers are lined with it as I say this is the newer one this is a sample piece in blue if you want to get hold of some samples I'll put some links in the um, description and there's also affiliate links there so uh, you know please use those if you're ordering it it does help me out a lot but I'll put all the links in the description but many thanks for watching hope you enjoyed that and uh, I'll be back soon with some more videos I hope my friends as pleased with it as I am. Here's a few stills. Yeah, really satisfying project. Uh, it's a big boy's toy, really. Yeah, a great little plinking gun. And uh, here's the uh, little 3D printed parts I used. Well, coming up on the 22nd and 23rd of April, I'll be at Yandles with uh, Emma Cook, the Tiny Turner. We're both doing demonstrations and courses. Uh, I'll be demonstrating on the Friday, the 22nd, and I'll be doing a course for four students on the Saturday. And that'll be on using Milliput with wood turning. 
and I think there's still spaces available. Uh, I think there's two. There was two spaces available. I was down at Yandles the day before yesterday. Um, but yeah, come and see us uh, on the Friday. As I say, I'll be demonstrating, so you can pop in and out and see what I'm up to. Uh, they've got demonstration rooms and training rooms down there. And uh, the other, of course, the following weekend is Makers Central. Now, I won't be on any stands this year, but I'll be there as a visitor on the Saturday. So come and say hi. It'd be great to see you. And uh, hopefully I'll get to meet um, everyone that I'm hoping to meet. Uh, usually when I'm working, I never get a chance to actually see the whole show. So it'll be quite nice to be there as a visitor. But come and say hello if you see me. And I'll be back soon with some more videos.